Okay, I've just finished up my new belt drive um, and my new treadmill motor and belt drive mounts. Um, I haven't installed the new electronics uh, KBMM board, um, so I'm just going to test this with the um, the motor driver that came with the Grizzly G0704 and I'm um, going to fire it up for the first time, see how this works out. Put up on forward, make sure the speed is all the way off. Turn it on, and we have belt drive. I also put new bearings in, uh, high-speed bearings in the spindle. I haven't broken those in yet. Um, I don't have my tack hooked up. Um, I do have a handheld tack, so I need to break these bearings in, so I don't want to run it up, but much, much quieter. Quite nice. I also um, really didn't need the quill on this mill, um, and I had considered using the quill belt drive uh, uh, version that uh, uh, Haas published with his plans. That's what I used to do my CNC conversion. But after thinking about it a little bit, and just to keep it simple, and also I hate that rattling from the quill um, and the spindle inside of the quill, um, so I decided to take that out. So you can kind of hopefully see in there. It's not there. That's because it's down here. So basically there is literally nothing um, all the way up uh, to where the pulley is, which means that I can actually mount that pulley, um, flip it over, mount it the other direction, and get a little bit of top from the spindle that I can use um, for the top hat when I put the uh, power drawbar on. Um, without having to machine um, a, uh, an opening, a hole in the uh, in the pulley. We'll see. Um, I might do it do it that way, or I might just go with the original plan. But anyway, it looks like this is all working. So now I can convert over to my uh, KBM M board and uh, get the new electronics set up and installed. And this machine will be ready to boogie.